Have you ever wondered how far you've actually walked? Even on my worst days, personally getting outside, throwing some eggs in an incubator, and embarking on a Pokemon journey changes my headspace for the rest of the afternoon. This is something that has become at least a small part of my daily remedy, and it's all thanks to Pokemon Go, believe it or not. So, that must mean I walk a lot. And ever since the summer of 2016, when we got a taste of what world peace would actually feel like, I've been putting in the work and thankfully Pokemon Go roughly tracks and records the distance in kilometers. And after analyzing the data, googling things, I was pretty blown away. So I reached out to Pokemon Go players of all levels and decided to make this video. So today, I'm going to try to put your trainer cards and the distance you've walked playing Pokemon Go into perspective. And brace yourselves because this is how far you have walked playing Pokemon Go. First off, we've got what I'm going to call the Maurizio tier. This is for casual players in the 100 to 200 kilometer range. This is also the tier that made me want to share my findings with you. I was originally going to joke around by saying, so basically you've walked to the fridge a few times in almost five years, but before we start imagining the larger distances, we should start with those pesky incubators. Mount Everest is the highest mountain in the world, reaching 29,029 feet at its summit. If you were to cut Mount Everest in halves, lay it down on its side and walk across it, you would have walked only 8.8 .8 kilometers. Let that sink in for a second. Walking the entire technical height of Mount Everest wouldn't even be enough to hatch another clink from a 10k egg. So if you've walked this far, pat yourselves on the back today because participation trophies for everyone. So what is 100 kilometers. If you've ever flown before when airplanes tell you you're allowed to take out your laptops and look out the window, you're probably at an altitude of about 31,000 feet or 9.4 kilometers, so 10 times higher than that still. On a slightly larger scale, if you're in Alaska, you can simply walk across the harsh waters that is the Bering Strait and find yourself in Russia by walking 88 kilometers west. Just make sure you bring a few coats. So if you add up all three of those, you're just breaking into the bottom of the Maurizio tier. Next is the Naruto's tier. For players anywhere around 400 to 500 kilometer range, we've already surpassed the highest part of our entire planet, so I already had to look beyond that. In a perfect little routine, orbit scientists from all around the world are working tirelessly in a laboratory to bring us information on the effects of long-term space exposure on the human body. At exactly 400 kilometers above us, again, hypothetically speaking, you could have paid them a visit at the International Space Station. But enough about cold places. At approximately 1,000 kilometers, I have the Alley Co tier. Forget ascending to places we can't walk due to human and geographical restriction. This one's entirely possible and quite beautiful. In 1,240 kilometers, you would have been able to take the scenic route and walk the entire length of the California coastline from north to south, stopping at beautiful beaches from Santa Cruz to Santa Monica. Best not forget your sunscreen. Next, we have the Ankeny tier at a foot breaking 2,200 kilometers. We have an inside joke on stream where if you type the name John, it randomly says, eat your hot dogs, John. And trust me, you're going to need the calories for this one. <laughs> I actually made a really big math error on the Ankeny tier, and I just realized it in editing. Uh, originally, I compared it to the Great Wall of China, but it's not even close to that. So. Um, I got a backup plan here for you. John, there are 151 calories in a hot dog. You burn off approximately 76 calories per kilometer. So if you walk 2200 kilometers in the Ankeny tier, you have burned 167,200 calories just walking playing Pokemon Go. And for all you Johns out there, that is... 1,107 hot dogs. That's a lot of hot dogs, guys. <laughs> and the Alexis tier. At a hangover inducing 4,500 kilometers. And if there's one thing Alexis is good at, it's a good old fashioned bar crawl. Now, this hypothetical wouldn't be the world's longest bar crawl. That record is allegedly held by a man named Ben Coombs, who drove 20,000 miles over a span of seven months from the Arctic Circle to the most southern bar in Chile. But 
it would be a pretty dang impressive bar crawl on American soil because you could start day drinking in Los Angeles right now and drink yourself all the way to Pittsburgh, our home city in 3,900 kilometers. And coincidentally, quick plug, this is the trip I will actually be driving this Sunday, the 21st of March. So if you want to keep up with my first ever cross country road trip, I'll be posting regularly on Instagram at the Adam Hawk. So shoot me a follow and send me some good vibes over there. It's going to be a long one. Congratulations if you made it this far because this tier is extra cool. That is because at 6,400 kilometers, it's my tier, the Adam Hawk tier. Thank you. Thank you very much. Being born along the Allegheny River, it's no shocker that the water trend in my life continues, but the Allegheny River is only 514 kilometers long, so we have to look a little deeper. The second longest river in the world, as we all know, is home to some of the most interesting and dangerous creatures on the planet and the location of some of the best River Monsters episodes. God, I love that show. Just like my player distance, the Amazon River winds exactly 6,400 kilometers. I don't know if I could have survived that walk. Probably not. But I definitely would have risked it all to lightly boop a bodo on the snoot. If you didn't know that, bodos are the little pink, thin-skinned river dolphins. They are adorable. And speaking of mighty travelers, welcome to the FAP tier. A mod of mine infamous for his amazing Taylor Swift shirts and trips to Vegas at 9,000 kilometers. In 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. He looked for Japan, but he found South America and murdered and enslaved thousands of people. Columbus kind of sucked. But at this tier, you would have covered the same distance as he did on his first voyage across the Atlantic Ocean, where he left from Spain and ended up all the way over in San Salvador instead of Asia. At least we got a bank holiday out of it. More days off for Vegas, baby. Whew, at 11,000 kilometers, we have found ourselves at the Doran tier. And we could celebrate our first legitimate round trip on this video. In fact, it's very round and craterous. Because if you passed 10,921 kilometers, you would have officially walked long enough to walk around the entire moon. And if you don't want to walk all the way around something, prefer taking a shortcut at 12,742 kilometers on average. Like in an episode of Looney Tunes, you could have dug a tunnel from one side of the earth to the other. This is our final tier. It is almost impossible for me to imagine how some of you have walked three or four times the distance I've walked. Considering I actually didn't really take a break since this game came out, I am impressed. You are God Saiyans to my long haired Super Saiyan 3, so it's only appropriate to name the over 20,000 kilometer tier the Zeus tier. Shout out, my name's Zeus. At 20,000, 14 kilometers, you have now traveled further in a straight line than Santa Claus himself from the North Pole to the South Pole. But if I was to take just the 24 trainers from my Doran and Zeus tiers and I sent them on a gravity defying relay race, they would add up to over 387,250 kilometers, which is far enough to walk to the moon. I hope this video has at least put a few things into perspective about the tiny blue ball we all live on and how close we really are to everyone that we share it with. By the way, I wasn't kidding when I said I have had so much research on this topic. There's a lot of things that I wanted to put in the video, but it was just getting too long, man. I didn't want to keep putting tier after tier after tier. So all 60, 70 people that sent me their trainer cards, I just want to say thank you very much. You gave me a lot to work with. Put your distance in the comments below. I probably have something on this paper that I didn't share in the video, and I'm more than happy to find a distance for you guys as well. And that is it baby i gotta edit this and try to get it done in two days because i am going to the east coast holy sh wish me luck i love you oh and jay mackle you're a freaking madman what was it the very last one jay mackle tier 20 26 500 kilometers i'll see you guys later